is 5 mil. 105. So we're expecting 105 as our answer. So the reason why I like to do this is when you go through the steps and everything's complicated, you can have the binary value out and check it at the end to make sure that you've done all your steps properly. So the first thing we do is we establish our multiplier, which is the numerator. Okay, and in any question like this, I'll be able to, uh, it'll be four bits, four bits. So this is the multiple can. And the multiplier is one, 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 one. And two's complement of the multiplicand is zero, 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 one. Let me set up the multiplier. And then the multiplicand, it's zero, one, one, and one. And so we have our three arrays. Each of these arrays have, are of length 2n plus 2. So a of 2n plus 2, what does a stand for? Addition is correct. What does S stand for? Subtraction. And what is P? It's the product. So we take uh, 2n through n plus 1 of A, and we put the positive multiplier. So the most significant bit is going to be 0. Why is that? Because it's positive, that's right. So this is going to be 0 then 1, 1, 1, 1, and then 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0. So this is A. S, what bit does it start with? 1. And why is that? Negative. Because it's negative. And then you put this value here is the next four bits. And then the remaining bits are 0. And then your product. Obviously, it starts with a zero because it's positive, and then the multiplication. So it's not these four bits. Like you know, the other two we use these four bits. The algorithm we put zero, one, one, one. So we replace these bits in the product. And so the four conditions we look at the last every step in the algorithm, we look at these last two bits and we compare uh, what we should do. So if it's 0, 0, or 1, 1, we're going to do nothing. We, if it's 0, 1, what do we do? T plus A, so we're going to add. In that algorithm that I gave last class, it's P equals P plus A. And if it's 1, 0, what do we do? Subtract. P equals P <coughs> plus S. So first iteration. We need 0. And then since it's 1, 0, we're going to subtract, so it's going to be S as be 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and that's going to be 1, 8. So what do we do next? Uh, yeah, we shift right. right yeah. So we shift right, and though we make sure that this, the most significant bit remains the same. So it's going to be 1 again, but then this becomes 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, and then 1. So that's the end of the first iteration. So, oh, for, here's a question. How many iterations are we going through? Four. Four. Why is that? Correct. So this value here that we're getting these four bits, that's how many iterations you're going to do. And when you take the exam, the questions that I will give you, uh, it's, you, are, you may assume that four bits is sufficient. So don't feel any need to do five iterations or six iterations or two iterations. Very simple. Do four. Okay.